If you're someone in sales who's looking to get a busy executive's attention, you're looking for hacks to get the meeting and get the meeting faster, this video is for you. Or if you're someone who is looking to raise funding for your startup and get the meeting with the right person, or maybe you're trying to get in touch with an influential person that could help further your goals, this video is for you guys. So we're gonna talk about the ultimate shortcut to getting meetings with busy executives faster. So what's the shortcut? It's a warm introduction. First off, I'm gonna talk about what a warm introduction isn't. It isn't cold outreach. And what cold outreach is, is when you see an executive that you wanna to talk to at a company, and you don't have any common connections or context, and you're just hoping that you can come up with a sales message that can hook them, even though you've got a million other sales reps reaching out to the same executive, casting their own sales lures, trying to get them to bite. The chances of that working out are very slim. These executives are extremely busy. Not only do they have a million salespeople reaching out, but they have all these things that they're trying to fit into their schedule, all these competing priorities and decisions they need to make. The warm introduction, on the other hand, as opposed to cold outreach, is where you find a common connection someone who has a relationship with the executive you're trying to reach out to, and you ask them to make an email introduction on your behalf. They turn the engagement and the outreach from cold to completely warm, because you have a common connection. I have seen time and time again, this is the ultimate shortcut to getting the meeting. And the reason this works so well is, it takes a certain degree of trust for an executive to take a meeting with you, actually a high degree of trust. Because they're extremely busy, they don't know you, and they've met with other sales reps in the past who have completely wasted their time. You know, for some executives, a warm introduction and getting introduced to a sales rep through a common connection is the only way they will take a sales meeting. When I was at Google Cloud, the former CEO of Citrix came to speak to us about business and success in sales, and when we asked him, why do you take the sales meetings that you take? He said, I only take meetings when they are through a warm introduction. So if you're reaching out to executives at very successful companies, Fortune 500, Fortune uh, 5000 companies, then a warm introduction might be your only way in. So quick pro tip, when you're asking for a warm introduction from someone who knows an executive that you're trying to engage with, make sure to lighten their load and make it easy for them to make the introduction. This is how you do it. You come up with a value hypothesis for the business you're trying to reach out to and the executive you're trying to engage with and you write the email for them. It's called ghost writing. So they can send what you came up with to the executive. The other thing is this individual is risking their reputation and relationship with the executive on your behalf because what if they set you up in the conversation and you shit the bed, you don't bring any value, and you waste the executive's time. They're gonna hear about it, and that's not gonna be a good look on them. So make sure you prepare and make that person making the warm introduction look good. Also, after you have the meeting, whether it's a successful outcome or not, report back to that person who made the warm introduction and tell them how it went. You want to show your appreciation and if anything, let them know that you took advantage of the opportunity and you want to keep things warm in case they make a warm intro for you in the future or in case there might be more opportunities for them to do that. So that's a little bit of the etiquette of asking for and getting warm introductions. Now recently, I got a meeting with a global CTO for a multi-billion dollar business that you would know. We would all know it, but I can't share the name of the company. But the way I did it was through a warm introduction, and of all things, my mom was the key cornerstone of that warm introduction. Let me explain. I was on LinkedIn, and I saw that the general manager of a global business unit for this multi-billion dollar company was connected with my aunt, my mom's sister. And I asked my mom about it, and it turned out my mom and my aunt grew up with the wife of this general manager. I use that familial, close, personal tie to reach out to that general manager and executive and get a meeting with him. And I got the meeting on the premise of mentorship and those common connections. It was practically like family. And in the conversation though, I used the opportunity to share how our business could help his business. 
It was a little risky, but had to go for it, right? Wayne Gretzky says, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And I'd prepared my ass off with a value proposition tailored to their business, and it resonated. Now, the general manager wasn't the decision maker. He told me the global CTO was, and that he was willing to make a warm introduction and send an email on my behalf to the CTO. He said he practically doesn't respond to me half the time, so best of luck, let's see what happens. Well, I worked with the CEO or the president of my company and our VP of solutions to tailor a beautiful message. We shot our shot and it worked and I got the meeting. So key takeaway here, get creative in how you use warm, common connections to get meetings. Your mom might be your ticket in to that next big meeting and ultimately that next big partnership or sale. So a couple actionable takeaways. One, dedicate time every week to building your network. It is the most strategic asset that you can build that ultimately will help you get meetings faster time and time again. Look on LinkedIn and connect with more people. Connect with more people in your day-to-day -day life. You never know who's gonna know who. And keep track of all your connections on LinkedIn. Add everyone on LinkedIn because then you'll be able to go to LinkedIn when you see a new company you wanna reach out to and be able to reference where you have common connections on LinkedIn with people at the company. In some cases, I've seen people that I had connections to on LinkedIn that weren't the decision maker at the company for what I sold, but they were somewhat influential and I had a conversation with them and used that positive conversation to get an intro to the right person. You can warm introduction your way to the top and to the right people. So the first step when you look at any new company is using LinkedIn to see if you have common connections and you can make it warm to get in there like swimwear. But as you build your strategic network over time, it will get bigger and bigger and it'll be like a snowball rolling downhill. It'll get so easy to get meetings. And eventually, if you're in a specific market, like when I was at Google in Seattle, I got so well connected that this executive that was happy with me as a customer knew another and he was willing to send an email and give me an intro and I got the meeting and then next thing you know, all the, you realize all the executives know each other and you get meetings so easily. And that's a huge thing. I want to paint a picture of the ideal sales scenario. You have a bunch of happy clients and you leverage those clients and the executives at those companies to get meetings with the other executives. And you're just cashing in, bringing value, and riding a wave. So guys, I hope this ultimate sales shortcut to getting the meeting and ultimately winning more business was helpful. Make it warm wherever you can. Leverage warm intros to get meetings faster and go crush it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it entertaining and informative. And if that was the case, hit the like button because then the YouTube algorithm will bless me and share my face in this video with other people that might benefit from the message. And that's a win-win. And make sure to subscribe for weekly tips on how to sell more and live more. I've got your back. I appreciate you all showing up every week. And let's keep growing.